not. Tonight, survivors of breast implant associated lymphoma say their numbers are growing. We have women coming to us all the time with symptoms. They've told their doctors, nobody's listening. My Today, telling their stories at an FDA hearing on breast implant safety, from cancer to complaints about autoimmune illness. I was blindsided. I was deceived. Nearly 700 women worldwide have been diagnosed with the lymphoma the FDA believes is caused by implants with a textured sandpaper-like coating. Symptoms include swelling, skin changes, and pain. Patients say many doctors don't know about the disease. Were any of you told about no. this before no, you got your not at all. all? I removed my chest to get rid of cancer, and I reconstructed it and put cancer back in. 38 other countries have now banned textured implants made by Allergan. But today, Allergan and other U.S. manufacturers telling the FDA the benefits of the implants far outweigh the risks, adding they continue to study their safety. What is important is that the prognosis is excellent, especially when identified early and treated appropriately. Not enough for women who describe their textured implants as a ticking time bomb. Is anything short of a complete ban of these textured implants enough? No. 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 Tonight, still fighting to spread the word about a growing sisterhood they say they never signed up for. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.